this is gate exam gate 2005 question so some fields are given to you. field means attribute so some attributes are given to you f1 to f5 these are the attributes with the following functional dependencies these are the functional dependencies in the terms of normalization the table is in basically your answer must be highest normal form this is ms mcq question okay this question is mcq so if this is mcq your answer must be the highest normal form first of all you find the candidate keys so tell me what are the candidate keys here so you can notice f1 is not on rhs look f1 f2 are not in rhs f1 f2 they are not available on rhs so f1 f2 are not present on the rhs of any functional dependency this f1 f2 they are not present on the rhs of any non trivial functional dependency so they, they must be part of every candidate key they must be part of every candidate key what they can determine f1 comma f2 what they can determine so they can determine f1 f2 they can also determine f5 they can also determine f2 can determine f4 and you can notice f1 can determine f3 so basically these are this is the candidate key so what i can say in this question in this relation in this table i can say in this table this f1 f3 this is the only candidate key this is the only candidate key this f1 f3 so only one candidate key now can you notice this is not in 2nf now this relation is not in 2nf why what is the violation so this relation is not in 2nf why the relation because you have this type of partial dependency look at this partial dependency f1 f3 determining so f, sorry f1 f2 f1 f2 f1 f2 is the only candidate key this f1 f2 is the only candidate key this is the candidate key f1 f2 so you can notice that this is the violation determining f4 determining f4 is this a partial dependency tell me is this a partial dependency yes this is a partial dependency because you can remove f1 because you can remove f1 so this is a partial dependency so this is your partial dependency and you can notice this is a candidate key and this is non prime attribute and this is non prime attribute so i can say that candidate key is partially is partially determining non prime attribute so that is the reason this is not in 2nf okay so that is the reason this is not in a 2nf so you cannot this is not in 2nf so it is also not not in 3nf not in bcnf okay so this is not in is this clear so this is not in 2nf this is not in, so the answer will be 1nf okay yes or no what is the another method what is the another method you can check proper subset the method number 2 you can check this you can check proper subset of candidate key you can check proper subset of candidate key does it does it determine non prime attribute does it determine non prime attribute tell me how many proper subsets are there just tell me this point how many proper subsets are there only two proper subsets are there f1 f2 find what is f1 plus what is f2 plus what is f1 plus what is f1 plus f1 plus is f1 f3 f okay f1 plus is f1 f3 so here you can stop here you can stop so this is a non non prime non prime attribute so you can notice so basically f1 is determining f1 is determining f3 this is the violation of 2nf this is the violation of 2nf tell me is this partial dependency f1 to f3 f1 determines f3 is this partial dependency this is full dependency this is actually full dependency this is not partial this is not partial what is partial this is partial f1 f2 determining f3 this is partial this is partial where this is a, where this is candidate key where this is candidate key and this is non prime attribute and this is non prime attribute okay is this clear so this type of partial dependency is the problem 
सो योर आंसर विल बी फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन ए 